Thank you, Steve, and good morning, everyone. Our guest today is boxing promoter Bill Green, and we're going to talk about the knockdown in G-Town 2, big boxing event over at Five Rocks Amphitheater this Saturday night. And uh, first of all, welcome, Bill. Appreciate you Thank being you. here to talk about your uh, big event. It's going to be at the uh, Five Rocks Amphitheater tomorrow night. Kind of give us uh, the specifics and at least the generalities here, the general dates and time and all that kind of stuff, then we'll into how many bouts you got. Sure, thank you for having me. Um, for starters, you know, last year, October 20th, uh, here in Gearing, Nebraska, was official knockdown in G-Town 1. We had over 700 people there, so we're expecting a much bigger crowd this go around with it being the second time. We, we have a total of seven bouts, and uh, headlining those bouts is uh, Rene Marquez. Young man is 2-0 with two knockouts. Nobody's even made it past the third round with this young man. He works hard. He's, he's a Gearing graduate, so it's a perfect setting for him to be fighting in his hometown here in Nebraska. Now we have, next up, we have Return to Glory with Alfredo Martinez. He's the Panhandle's Olympic boy. He won the Junior Olympics uh, back in 2003. He's training out of Denver, but he's commuting here back home, and he really is the real deal. He's won numerous Golden Glove tournaments throughout his career. At one point, even undefeated 5-0 and um, throughout uh, Nationals. So he's a star in the making. And then as you go down the lineup, you have local fighters Omar Pena, Javier Conde. Um, we're bringing in Tyler Canning in from Wyoming. He's a young man that's on the rise. He's won numerous titles as well. Uh, matter of fact, in April of this year, he got a chance to fight in New York City, and uh, he pulled off an upset. He's getting calls from major promoters, Golden Boy, Top Rank, etc. So he's on the card. Uh, Brandon Quintana out of Kearney, a very popular fighter. Um, and honestly, Chris Saucedo versus Sean Jepson. This fight is going to be explosive. Two 200-pound bulls coming at each other and uh, as we know Chris Saucedo has, a, has an MMA background and boxing background. He's going to bring in a nice crowd. He's a good guy in the community and, and that's what this event's about is putting some, some young local Latino athletes and bringing them into the area and showing what they have. Alright, sounds like a pretty good lineup that you've got there. Uh, when uh, when does this hall start uh, tomorrow night? And you're gonna have music as well, right? That's correct. Uh, you know, doors open at five o'clock. Avdishord, which is a local band, again they're on the rise. They started off, believe it or not, in the church, and they just kind of grew from there. They're they're playing a lot of different uh, local areas, the Emporium and Caddies and the airport, and you name it. They they're really a good group of guys. I appreciate everything they're doing for us. So they'll be. They'll be kicking off the show from 5 to 7, playing a little music for us. Yeah, I've heard them. They're very good. Very good. So that's good. And then the fighting, and then the boxing starts around uh, 7 o'clock. Uh, how do people get tickets for this? The tickets can be purchased by calling 308-672-7307. We also have ticket locations throughout the Panhandle, Caddy's Bar and Grill, uh, Selly Cycle Center, and both Sonic stores. All right. We'll talk more about this uh, event tomorrow night right after this. Being personal, Jolla Funeral Home. Let Jolla Funeral Home help you honor those you love when they've passed. So which uh, weight class is Marquez? Our team will help you carry on the legacy of your family members and friends. Uh, with over 100 years of experience, we offer professional and personal attention to every detail in the planning process. We also offer advanced planning as a continuation to our services. That's Jolla Funeral Home. Our family serving your family for three generations. He fought Chavez. All right, we are back on uh, News Extra and uh, talking to Bill Green, boxing promoter for the knockdown in G-Town tomorrow night, boxing event over at the Five Rocks Amphitheater. Music starts from 5 to 7, Avid to Shord. Uh, will be there, uh, uh, musical artists performing on stage, and then from uh, 7 to 10 p.m. we'll have uh, boxing, and uh, Bill Green is here to talk about it again. And uh, you mentioned Mr. Marquez from Gehring. He's had a couple of fights. Uh, he's a junior welterweight, and uh, you, you say he's doing uh, fairly good. Uh, did, 
describe him a little bit more and uh, the person he's he's going to be fighting in his third fight. Well, uh, Rene Marquez, um, you know, local young man, Gearing graduate. He's a security guard out at the college. He works hard in the gym. He's a mentor for several youth in the area. That's where I kind of met up with him. He, he's just a good guy. He deserves the main event in every way. Not only just boxing talent, but just being a good guy in general. Uh, we're fighting Lionel Burton out of Denver, Colorado. And this young man is, is the son of Lonnie Smith, Lightning Lonnie Smith, who uh, back in the 80s had a nice little run himself. He fought uh, Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. So uh, we're excited to have Lightning Lonnie in attendance that night. Uh, this is a rematch fight. Um, we fought Lionel back in Colorado in his home state. We beat him. Um, they wanted a rematch. It was a close fight. So we're going to do it again, only this time we're doing this one in G-Town. All right. So uh, a little hometown uh, for uh, for Mr. Marquez, and that's that's pretty good. Uh, uh, how did you, how were you able to come up with uh, Mr. Martinez? Obviously he's still a hometown kid, but nevertheless former uh, junior Olympic champion. Uh, bringing him in has got to be pretty good. Oh, yes, definitely. Um, you know, Alfredo, he's had all the talent in the world for for the last 10 years, everybody knows that name. He uh, moved to Denver early in his career. He's 2-0, and he's undefeated. He uh, ended up getting married, having some kids, took some time off from the sport, but never away from it. He was helping us as a coach, as a trainer. And uh, just recently, yeah, he found himself. He moved to Alaska and uh, had been training there and everything fell in place. He's at 145 pounds right now. He's been at his contract weight for probably four weeks. He's ripped. He's ready. Um, it's a blessing to have him on the card. Um, we have his trainer, uh, Sean and Henry Delgado. These same individuals are responsible for creating Mike Alvarado. And if you haven't heard of Mike Alvarado, he just fought on HBO for over $750,000. He was in the running to fight Manny Pacquiao. So this guy is a big name. Now Fredo Martinez trains alongside him. All right. Very good. Once again, this is 7 o'clock tomorrow night over at the Five Rocks Amphitheater. Music starts at uh, 5. And you said you had 700 the first time around, the second time, and uh, with, with good weather and everything over at the Five Rocks, you, you should, have a, should have a pretty good event and uh, lots of good seating for that. And uh, Five Rocks sets up well for this, huh? Yeah, I believe so. It is the first outdoor event uh, for boxing that I know of. Um, it's up on a stage, so most people are used to seeing uh, music up there. However, this venue is the best thing we have to offer in the area. It really is beautiful. People coming in from Colorado and Wyoming, I promise you, you will, you will feel like you're back home. You'll feel like you're at Red Rocks. When you see that monument scenery when the sun comes down, it's beautiful. So we know the ring fits on there. We know the lighting's great. So far, knock on wood, the weather looks to be 85, 88 range. Um, so we're hoping for a great, great show. All right. Once again, ticket prices, 15 to $30. What's the difference quickly in those prices? Well, $15 is what we call the general seating. Um, it ends up being in the back. It is stadium seating. Um, good price. That's what we want to do is make sure families can come out to these events. Times are tough, so I understand that. So $15 just to get in. There's not a bad view, again, at Five Rocks. Uh, if you check that out online, there's not a bad view at all. And then $20, we call that the mid-level. That ends up being in the middle. Uh, again, great view. And then 30 we do the first four rows, which is equivalent to what we call ringside. You're really up close to action. The fighters come out the dressing rooms, our entourage, so they walk right by. It's, it's more feel and close action. All right. Once again, tomorrow night, be there for the knockdown in G-Town. You can get your tickets once again at, uh, you said at uh, Sonics, mm -hmm. and uh, also at uh, Caddy's, and uh, where else did you say? And Selly Cycle, um, and you know, you can get those clear up to uh, gate time at Selly's, you know, uh, they're open, I believe, 7.30 to 6.30. So if you're out and about and you're, you're not able to uh, get a hold of one of us, Sellies will have them. You can also purchase them at the door. We'll have plenty. The venue holds a lot of people. 
1500 for stadium seating and I've been told from the city another 2000 can be on the grass so um, there's there's a ticket for everyone to be honest all right appreciate it thank you Bill Green boxing promoter talking about the event tomorrow night all right good deal all right, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.